Rodrigo was did many good things. He also did bad things. I mean, they were a, life in those days was very different because in those days the Pope was not very different to medieval kings. Yes, he he was the uh, successor to Saint Peter. Yes, he was the head of the Catholic Church, which gave him enormous power. And over and above that, you have to be a statesman, a ruler. And so it's, it's, it, 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 it's not like the modern pope at all. Rome at that time was almost um, a ruined desert. I mean, there were a lot of old Roman pillars and falling down. One there were animals grazing in the streets. There were um, bandits. It wasn't a place you wanted to go very much. You have to often behave with considerable violence to make somewhere peaceful or stronger. One of the things Rodrigo did when he became Pope Alexander was to strengthen the states that surrounded, the buffer states. His legacy is he was a great organizer. He, he gave, um, he, he brought Rome back to life. He bred some very interesting children. He had around 12 in all. In our series, The Borgias, we concentrate on four of them. Juan, uh, his soldier son, who became Gonfalieri, the leader of the papal army, which Rodrigo had been when he was a cardinal. And so he, was a, he came from soldier stock. Um, his son Cesare, who he always wanted to go into the church, who was a cardinal, and who he saw as being possibly the person who would unite Italy, which I think was the Borgia's ultimate aim. Italy was a mixture of papal states, and he hoped that Cesare, by going into the church, by being there, could become pope later. Although I haven't made a television series for about 25 years, I suppose, um, it seemed to be a good time to do it. And when the Borgias was suggested, I thought, well, it's an amazing period, uh, an extraordinary and very famous family in the history of Europe. To play a man who became Pope um, seemed like a fascinating project. To play a man who was good and bad, black and white, um, a man of, con of, of, of contrasts and, and, and conflicts, I thought this would be fun to do. He and I have nearly worked together before, and never quite, but we know each other, and he's a consummate writer and a great director. And I thought, well, to have him writing the series, directing some of it, producing all of it, um, will give it something different from a lot of the television we see.